Triplet V2 code instruct 3 billion parameters, a really powerful model for you to generate computer programming like codes. And in this video, we're going to learn how to run this on your CPU, just on CPU. The four bit quantized model is what we're going to run on CPU. But before we get into the instructions of how to run this model on CPU, first let's learn what is this model. This model uses the Repellit code V1 3 billion parameter base model and it has been fine tuned on two data sets. One is Sahil 2801's code alpaca data set and that second one is on Technium's GP teacher code instruct data set. This has been fine tuned and released by Technium who is a quite a prolific model releaser like we have seen a lot of good models coming from Technium so this is another good model from Technium. If you want to play around with this demo you can click this hugging faces de space demo and then go play with that and also if you want to see what kind of data set this model has been fine tuned on both GP teacher and also code alpaca data set is available on hugging face model hub or hugging face data set for you to go try it out. But what we are going to do is not just necessarily use this particular model in its true form. We are going to use the 4 bit quantized model that is available for us thanks to Anton Bakaj. So I'm not sure like if I'm pronouncing the name correctly. I'm really sorry that if I'm not pronouncing it correctly, Anton Bakaj has made it available for us to use it. Um, the model as a GGML model. It's a four bit quantized model. That means this model probably can run really well on your CPU. Like the previous model, like the video that we saw where we try to run MPT 30 billion parameter model on our CPU. We're going to use this model on our CPU and then see how does this model fare. And all the required links will be in the YouTube description. So you can directly go ahead and then go to the files and click and download the model. So you don't have to use the download model script that we'll see later in this code. This is like the entire utility script is available in the repository, like the code repository. Make sure you start the repository, which could mean a lot to the developer. So this repository is repellent 3 billion inference. That's what like 3B inference. And we learn or we have the code base to use the inference of the 3 billion parameter model, the 4 bit quantized model on CPU. So let's get started with our steps. The first thing that we need to do is we need to have a terminal or a shell or a command prompt. After my previous video, a lot of people had been asking me that what do I do if I'm on Windows? If you're on Windows, either use command prompt or PowerShell. So you can either use command prompt or PowerShell. That should ideally do the same thing. The only thing you need to probably figure out is like what is the Python version that you have got. So make sure that run it and then see, okay, is it Python 3? Is it Python? Just make sure that you're clear about that part. So that's something that you need to clarify. After you have clarified what is the Python version that you have got, the first thing that you need to do is you need to clone the repository. So git clone and paste the repository link and that will clone the repository in whatever folder that you are. If you are on home folder, it will clone the repository and then make a folder called repellent 3 billion inference. So that's the first thing, clone the repository. Like I said in the previous video, if you do not know how to clone the repository, you can go to the GitHub repo click code and download the zip and unzip it and then open it inside. You can do either way, but using it in terminal is quite cool and easy for you to do it. So clear the terminal. After you have cloned the repository, now CD and enter into the repository. What is the repository name? Rep L8 and 3 billion inference. Just press tab, you will enter into the repository, press enter. At this point, as you can see here, it says Rep L8 3 billion inference. That means we have entered into the repository. The next thing that we need to do is we need to actually um, up create, update the, sorry, uh, create and activate the virtual environment. So we are going to create and activate the virtual environment. So Python 3 and uh, run this. So we are going to create our virtual environment and also activate the virtual environment. So our virtual environment is activated at this point. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to do a sub module installation for C performers. So let's do that as well. And um, that's been taken care at this point. This is the sub module with C transformers patch. And after we do that, then the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to install the dependencies, which directly comes from the requirements.txt. If you go inside requirements.txt, you would see that we need two libraries. One is a C transformers. The second one is transformers. So C transformers and transformers. In the previous video, if you have noticed, we installed C transformers directly from pip. But right now we are installing C transformers from the sub module that we have got. Once the C transformers, the sub module installation is done, then go ahead and then do pip three install 
dash r requirements.txt that will install the c transformers and also the transformers library one from pip the other one from the sub module that we have got so as you can see it's building the dependencies once this is done or while this is happening what you can also do is you can go ahead go here to the hugging face model hub and download the uh, ggml file so you can download this 1.5 gigabytes file and uh, you can store it in the folder that you want so that once we have the folder set up everything ready you can go and then put this inside the models folder so that's something that you can do while this installation is going on so make sure that you download it go here click this and then click the download file here that will ideally download this for you so it's getting installed let's wait for it to get installed and um, and once it's successfully installed then we have to go start downloading the model so the way we can download the model like i said you can run the script python download underscore model dot pi and then do it or just like i showed you you can go here and then download the model as well so i would i would prefer downloading the model separately primarily because that gives you more control it's downloaded in the browser and um, you know you have more flexibility than downloading it on terminal so at this point our libraries are installed a model has been downloaded so the next thing that you need to do is put the model in the right folder if you are not downloading to the command prompt so what i'm going to do is i'm going to open the in interface after i open the interface and uh, you're going to see everything so here as you can see everything is here so the only thing that i'm going to create is i'm going to create a folder called models and after i create a folder called models i'm going to put my model that i downloaded inside this so now the folder structure looks like this we have got everything within that we have got models and the two most important file that we are going to use is download underscore model dot pi file which is to download the model we did not use it in this case the other one is inference dot pi which is what we are going to use for inference so create a folder called models paste the for file the model file that you downloaded from the hugging face model hub so the one that you just downloaded from here paste that with the exact file name inside that particular folder so at this point you are quite good so clear the interface and then start trying python3 inference.py as you know i've already said that my machine takes the invoke command of python3 to call python if on your computer if it is python or py whatever that invoke command is use that command python3 space inference.py run this as you can see it's fetching the files and starting to run the model in itself so it's asking user what do you want to do i can ask a very simple question i can say write a simple python code to add two numbers i just want a simple python code to add two numbers and as you can see it's quite fast num1 is equal to 5 num2 is equal to e7 sum is equal to num1 plus num2 print sum okay now maybe let's say to write a function write a python function that can add two numbers so when i say this the assistant is processing as you can see like it's it's tremendously fast on a cpu like it's a 32 gig cpu but still it's quite fast it's a cpu intel mac add numbers a comma b return a plus b quite good so now i can ask another question write a sql query to get all the rows that starts whose whose name starts with a so we have said i want a sql query to get all the rows whose name starts with a cool we've got the wild card select star from table where name like a star a percentage um so okay write a sql query to do a cross join between two tables to get the same rows some some random crap i'm writing write a sql query okay it's it's ultimately going to do a cross join because i just i just said inner join okay i said cross join it did inner join maybe cross join doesn't matter here let's try one more code write an r code to print a nice gg plot with some good theme write an r code to print a nice gg plot okay it's uh, it's creating the gg plot code geom point it's ideally scatter plot and it is also adding the theme elements so it has also added colors and we tried at this point python 
SQL or let's try some JavaScript stuff. Um, write a simple HTML CSS JS code to create a to do application. So we are creating a simple HTML CSS JavaScript code to do a simple to do application. So as you can see the HTML code is being created. It's HTML head to do application title and the task goes here. All this information comes in here. So now we got into the JavaScript part where it uh, says add a task and then you have the details about task and that is there. And uh, yeah, as you can see, I think it's, it's doing a really good job. Like to be honest, you can, if you want, you can put this in code pen and then try to run this thing. But I think overall it has done a decent job. And as you can see, we explored four languages, at least at this point, Python, SQL, R, and also CSS. If you are a Python user and if you think that I didn't do anything complicated, so maybe we can ask, uh, create a Python code to build a simple XGBoost model. Make sure to handle um, cross validation. Okay. So I, I want a Python code to build a simple XGBoost model, but I also wanted to handle the cross validation part. And as you can see, it's uh, it's imported XGBoost as XGB using the D matrix getting the train and test, creating the model parameters and it has got the default parameters. It didn't handle cross validation here, as you can see. So again, like I can play with the prompt, but as you can see, it has built the model in itself. And um, it's, I think it's doing a really decent job to be honest and uh, all thanks to Technium for the model and also Anton, Anton for making this GGML and also the helper scripts. Like I said, go ahead, give a start to the repository. I would like to quickly run through everything that we have done. And uh, to start with, the first thing that you need to do is make sure you have downloaded the model or you can use the download model here. If not, download the model and keep it ready. The first thing is clone the repository. After you clone the repository, then create and activate the virtual environment. Then install the sub module with C transformers patch. Then install the required dependencies, which in this case is C transformers and transformers and download the model or if you have already downloaded the model make sure you put the model in the right folder which is models folder inside your current working directory and then do the inference and it is quite fast like quite amazingly fast it's faster than probably you have to go to stack overflow or go open chat gpt and then start asking question and this is actually fine-tuned for coding exercise so probably like one of the best coders is now available within your cpu in itself you don't need gpu if you have any questions let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, all the required links will be in the YouTube description. Check it out. Happy prompting.